Drawing stylized portrait, it's one of the things that's a little bit difficult when it comes to a digital art and even traditional art. But the good thing about digital art is that there are several ways which you can use to manipulate things that's going to make your workflow or your work so much easy for you to just get along and create most especially if you are making use of photoshop okay so in today's video i'm going to give you guys one tip that you can use to draw a stylized portrait now i understand that when it comes to test to stylized portrait there are some certain features you need to change to get that stylized portrait look that is where the problem always come from now trying to figure out all those part or trying to draw all those part when you are just starting out with digital art or trying to draw, to draw stylized portrait for the first time you are going to be having all those difficulties but thanks to one filter in photoshop we are going to be using that it's really going to help us give us those shape and give us the ability to draw a stylized portrait without cracking our brain so now let's get right into this video and see how we can manipulate this reference we have right here to give us that stylized portrait look which we will be drawing. Alright, back into Photoshop. Now, if you want to follow along, you just have to get any reference of your choice or you can just um go over to pinterest and you are going to see so many reference you will be making use of so right here i have this reference which i will be making use of as you can see right here it's not um a stylized portrait it's just a real portrait so now we are going to convert this into a stylized portrait and turn it into a reference which we can use to draw a stylized portrait but you need to understand that what makes a stylized portrait different from um a real portrait it's the features now the eyes most of the eyes of stylized portrait is a little bit big the nose are small the mouths are small and when it comes to the jaw the jaw is a little bit thin than the original portrait now the main portrait always have the future of the reference you are drawing from and why the stylized portrait has a different features from the um original portrait you are drawing from so we are going to take a look at that right here. so now have all those things in mind have the eyes the nose and the mouth in mind including the jaw because these are the things you are going to modify that will help you create your stylized portrait so now once you import your reference into photoshop all you have to do first you just need to convert that layer into a smart object now it really depends on you but most times it's always advisable to play safe so that you can actually make any modification or go back in time when you do one thing wrong so right here as i import my reference into photoshop or into the document i created it's already converted into a smart object and if yours is not been converted into a smart object you just have to do you just need to right click and hit on convert to smart object and you are going to get this little icon right here the moment you see this little icon on your layer this is telling you that that layer it's a smart object so now wherever filter you apply on this layer it's going to create a sub layer for you giving you the ability to edit or delete this layer or delete that filter without making any modification or without it affecting that particular layer so in order for us to achieve this stylized portrait effect you need to remember the liquify filter in photoshop we all know that the liquify filter gives us the ability to modify various shape into something else like turning a portrait or whatever shape it is into the desired shape which we want now this is really possible if you know how to make use of the liquify filter now the liquify filter is just like this but it has a lot to this if you really know how to make use of it well i'm not really going to be explaining this liquify filter because there is nothing really much to learn here it's just for you to understand what you want to do and how to get what you want which i am actually going to walk you guys through as we create this 
right here so when you look at the left part you are going to get some tools just like in photoshop and the right part you are going to get some options which you'll be making use of now the properties of the particular reference or wherever item you have right here which you want to modify with the liquify filter all right so we are going to come back to the um tools later on but first of all we need to deal with this feature of the face like the eyes the nose and the mouth we need to make modification to those parts so when you open up this from the first time you might get this like this every layer is going to be collapsed right just like this now we just need to tap on all these little arrows right there and it's going to open up the drop down menu for you now if you have about two reference which you want to work with or two um image in one photo which one to work with you have the ability to switch between the faces right here photoshop is going to automatically recognize the number of subjects you have on that particular photo but since we have only one right here it has automatically help us to select that particular one we have right here so you don't really need to bother about selecting the particular um subjects you want to work on at this point so right here we have the brush to the brush to options which it's which we are all familiar with we know how all these things really really work so we won't be going through all the stuff so right here coming to the eyes this really helps you to modify everything about the eyes now whatever you do in that eyes tab is just going to affect only the eyes and um, nothing else now depending on how you want your eyes to look that eyes tab is going to help you modify that so i want the eyes to be big now if i go over to this part and i increase the size of the eye you can see what is really happening the size of the eye is increasing but one thing is really happening right here it's affecting only the left eye and now you want this to affect both eyes and the disadvantage of this working on the eyes separately it's that now you might really not pay attention to the percentage you the number to the numbers right here you might just go higher might go higher right here or go a little bit lower than it is and at this point you get some distortion on your reference and you really really don't want that well thanks to photoshop and the local five filter we have a quick fix to that that is really going to help us pay attention to one slider and actually affect both part of the eyes that is left and the right eyes so when you look at this midpoint here you can see that we have a little bit of chain right there telling us that we can actually link these two eyes together so when we modify one it's going to affect both of them so when i click on this chain right there you can see now we have the same values right there right here we have 66 and the left the right eyes we have 66 right here so it's giving us the same value right here so now you can just quickly go through all these and do that now i always do this depending on what i want to modify but for me i always do this so that in case i find out that i want to modify something else i already know that that chain has already been linked between the two parts so whenever i adjust anyone it's going to affect both of them so right now i want to make this eyes big and big and i feel like 66 is a little bit okay for me now i'm going to play around with the height and see what is really going to give to me okay so i feel like let's set it down to 30 let us put that to 21 and the width of the eye i want the width of the eye to be like this yeah okay this is fine now there are some stylized portrait which the eyes are being tilted so it all depends on you if you want to tilt the eyes it's fine you can go ahead and tilt the eyes by making use of this large slider right now this add a whole lot of stylization to your portraits when you make use of the tilting of the eyes so if i just add a little bit of this so i think this add a whole lot of drama to this ad so but nobody really really knows it all really is just up to you you know what you did and how it's really going to be everyone cares about the end results so you don't really need to worry about any modification you do so we are quickly going to take a look at the before and the after so this is what we have before and this is what we have after so now you can see how the eyes it's now big and popping out of the 
face so now we are going to head over to the nose you can still go ahead and do so many modifications which you want to the eyes you can just play around and see how it's really going to be helpful to you so now we can go over to the nose now inside of this nose we just have two options the height and the width it really depends on the one you want to modify but in this nose option i always modify the width because the width it's the main part of it so i'm going to reduce the width of the nose to somewhere like i think taking it down all the way down to minus 99 it's really going to help me a lot right here and i really love what i get at this point so we're going to play with the height and see okay so the height is pretty okay for me so i'm going to leave this now we can head over to the mouth now this modification i'm not just doing this modification because um I, i'm just i'm just doing it the way i want it to be now you if you are really really confused on how to modify your reference to fit in the stylized portrait you can actually get a reference of a stylized portrait and use the feature of that stylized portrait to modify your own reference so that it's really going to look alike but i already know how this is supposed to be looking like that's how that's why i'm just going in and just doing everything i want because i already know how it's going to be now head over to the mouth so inside of the mouth we have many options right here we have smile upper lip lower lip mouth width and mouth height now most times i really don't play with this smile but you can do something crazy depending on the kind of reference you have and what you are going for if you want your subject to smile you can make use of that smile slider to make your subject to smile and if you want your subject to bone or look sad or so on you can actually make use of that smile slider to do that well let's quickly take a look at that so if i undo this you can see it's turning the subject into making the subject sad and if i do this it's making the subject smile and you can see how amazing this is no one will ever know that you do this with the liquify filter right inside of photoshop but i like the default value i have right there which is zero so i'm going to set that back to zero so now the upper leaves works on only the upper lips you can see the adjustment it's doing if you want to increase the size of the lips or you want to reduce the size of the lips so the same thing involves involves with the lower lips but like i said before i always play with the width of the mouth because it's really going to give me what i want now we all know stylized portrait the mouth and are, are not as big as the original portrait so we just need to make the mouth small i'm going to come down to this mouth width and reduce the width of the mouth now this is actually really okay with me i love what i have right here and i'm going to just know that is pretty fine i'm going to set that to zero now we are done with all these and it's really really okay now let's head over to the face entirely by clicking down on this drop down menu right here and go over to the face shape so inside of the face shape you can see that we have the forehead chin height jawline and the face width so first width i'm going to play with right here is the face width which is very very important so i'm going to reduce the width of the face so now you can see a whole lot of drama this has added to the face now giving us that um stylized portrait look or that cartoonish look which makes up our stylized portraits i think this adjustment i've done right here is so much easier for me and i love it now you can play around with the jawline and see what you are going to get now if you want to make this really really flat it's totally fine so i think somewhere around minus 20 will be fine for me so i'm just going to leave that to 21 minus 21 it's really okay for me and it's fine for me because most times we really don't see those jaws when it comes to stylized portrait depending on the kind of stylized portrait you are going for already this reference don't have a lot of jaws so we just need to take a little bit of the jaw out of this since we are doing some modification to get the stylized portrait look so right here we have the chin height which is this now most times depending on the kind of stylized portrait we have a long chin and we have a short chin so now this is really depending on you or on how you want this to be so you can just play around with this and see what you are going to guess i think somewhere around um 30 it's okay for me and i love what i'm getting right here now coming to the forehead is just going to help us shift it down or take it upward so i think the default value for the forehead is 
really okay for me so i'm going to stick to this and this is pretty fine so let's take a look at the before and the after this is before and this is the after so now you can see a whole lot of drama this has added to our portrait now there are so many things you still need to do and still need to modify now take a look at the ear it's looking a little bit different and take a look at the head it's kind of like different so we need to make a modification to all these but now in order for us to make a modification to all this we need to first of all save these once we've added before now does it doesn't really matter you can go on and do everything once but i just want us to have a little bit of backup in case we make a mistake we can actually delete one of the filter and have the other filter available for us so that we can just continue from where we stop so i'm going to hit on okay to go back into photoshop so now you can see what we have right here we actually have the smart filter right here and we can turn that off and turn it on to see what we've got now i will head over to filter again and then liquify to go back into the liquify filter now me coming back into this liquify filter it's going to create another liquify filter layer for me when we go back into photoshop so now i can modify each of these liquify filters separately if i want to do something or the other so right here we are going to work on the head first now to work on the head we are going to make use of the forward warp tool right here which we can use to adjust the shape to give us what we want now we can make use of the bracket keys to increase and decrease the size of a brush so right here the head is a little bit bigger so i need to reduce the size of the head to fit in the modification we've done to the lower part of the face so i'm going to take this head in a little bit just like that and now i'm going to bring it down i'm going to take that up and bring this side in and i'm going to take this in bring this side in and i'm going to reduce this and head over to the forehead and drag this side in i'm going to increase this and drag this side in a little bit Okay, so I'm going to push this in here to this side out a little bit. Okay, so this is what I really want. It's giving me something so cool. I guess I can take this out a little bit so that, yeah, this is really, really fine. So now this is what we have before and this is what we have after. Before and this is what we have after. So let me take this in out a little bit. Okay that is really really fine so this is what we have before and this is what we have after look at this you can really see how everything is now matching now you can continue doing this or you can just hit on okay come back into the liquify filter and try to modify other part so we have right here i'm just going to adjust now if you want a little bit of this you don't really want this to be much like you like everything the way it is but you just want to reduce the way you you just um warp the head you just the way you've warped the head you just want to reduce a little bit of it well you have that option by just scrolling down and coming down to this button that says reconstruct when you click on the reconstruct you are going to get this revert reconstruction option and with the amount there with the amount slider you can just click on that and slide back now you can see that it's reversing most of the things you've done so now when you get to some certain point which you feel like it's really okay for you you can just leave it to that point and hit on okay then it's going to keep it at that point for you limiting everything you've done but 100 percent is really okay with me because it's just what i want so i'm going to hit on okay and this is fine for me now the last modification i need to do is to do some modification to the neck but most importantly you really don't need all this modification because you can actually just you know look in and draw the neck yourself and it's really going to be easy but if you want to you can go ahead and do that so that it's really going to be easy for you now we have to do some modification to the ears because the ear is a little bit bigger so i'm going to reduce this a little bit pretty size of the brush take this in Okay, now you need to understand when you are drawing this ear when you get into drawing you don't need to draw the whole shape of the ear you just need to draw a basic shape of the ear because you are actually drawing a stylized portrait so now we're done with that hit on ok and go back into photoshop 
so now we have this lastly we can go back into filter and then liquify filter again this is the last effects we are going to be applying now depending on the kind of portraits you are drawing if you are drawing um just something a close-up portrait like this it is really going to be easy but if you are drawing something bigger than this it's going to take a lot of time for you to do all these filter now if you keep doing this it's really going to help you um understand the features now it will get to some point where you don't need to do all this adjustment again it's really just going to help you understand everything now you can just go in and draw those shapes yourself because you already understand how um a stylized portrait is and the features that make up a stylized or portrait so i think i'm going to make a little bit of an adjustment to the jaw right here so i'm going to bring this down just like that so i want that kind of like a sharp edge right there so this is fine let me take this up a little bit so i want that yeah this is fine so i'm going to put this right here this is really really okay all right so now we can adjust the neck a little bit but the neck is pretty fine just adjust the neck a little bit a little bit of the shoulder we're going to take this in okay so this is what we have before and this is what we have after before and after before and after now it's really fine if you want to go in and do so many things you can just go ahead and do that now notes if you feel like the eyes the mouth or the nose is not really what you want and you actually need to adjust some of it or add more to the effect so now you can see when we get into this with liquify those values we've added before it's no longer available yet because they are in the first layer of the liquify we apply so now you can go back in again and repeat all the same process and it's going to add up to the previous one you have before so i think this is how i'm really going to keep this and i really love what i have right now i'm going to hit on okay and go back into photoshop now it is time for you to start drawing and of course we are not really going to be drawing right here now if you want to know how to do this sketch yourself i'm going to leave a link in the description to one of my video that teach you how to draw in photoshop from start to finish you can sketch in photoshop just depending on how you pay so much attention to the video because it's well detailed for you to learn now one last tip i need to show you guys is that after you've made this modification to your um reference you just need to go onto the net and um you just need to go onto the net and then you need to search for stylized portraits now i just search for stylized portrait eyes because i want to take a look at the eyes and see how it's really going to be so you have so many options of the eyes which you can use from and use to draw your own stylized portrait now you can go on pinterest and you're going to get a lot so right here you can see we have so many stylized portrait eyes which you can actually pick from and apply to yours that is if you find it difficult in somewhere else now you can also take a look at the jaw if the jaw is not really what you want you can just pick from here and add that to your own um reference but you've got a whole lot of start from taking you from zero percent all the way up to seven percent now the, the remaining 30 percent is up to you to decide on how you want to modify yours and see how it's going to be now most times you can just draw make a rough blocking out of the shape of your subject or your reference when you're done with that you can now go in and do so many modifications to it to fit in the real stylized portraits you want but you are not going to start from scratch again because you have to do a whole lot of work by just making use of that local five filter and there is one thing i couldn't show you so i'm going to Go back into photoshop now if you want to make any modification to any of those shifts that you add now let's say the eyes is too big and you want to reduce the size of the eye so remember the numbers of local files you have you added to your layer and know how you arrange them so the first filter right here which is the local file filter it consists of the eyes the nose and the mouth so when i double click on that to go back into the local file filter now this is going to load that mesh as you can see right there do some crazy stuff but once it's done it's going to take you back into the local file filter so now just give it some time for it to load 
and you are going to get um let's see this okay this is the last of the five fifth that we have right here so i'm going to cancel this and then we click on that click ok and that is going to take us back into the local file filter so now you can see that we have those options that involve the eyes the eye size the eye height the eye width and the eye tilt so now you can make those modifications to this and hit on ok to go back into photoshop and it's going to make the modification and apply that to it now you can go ahead and draw so that brings us to the end of this video and if this really really helps you that brings us to the end of this video your same video that brings us to the end of this video and if this tip really really help you make sure to hit the subscribe button not just the subscribe button ring the bell icon so that you don't miss any new tips and tricks i will be posting every week see you guys in my next video and make sure that you stay creative